Welcome. Shadows fall over my heart. I black out the moon. I wait for you to come around. You got me dancing in the dark. I've closed my eyes, but I won't sleep tonight. Maybe you should come with me. I'll take you to the dark side. So the design process that the intake team has um, was if we wanted a bumper cutout or not. That was one of the design processes. Um, from the beginning, it was either we were going to have a bumper cutout or we were just going to have a bumper there. Um, after a little bit of deciding, we kind of figured that we were just going to have a plain bumper. Yeah, so some of the issues that we had was the compression of the ball. Um, we wanted to figure out what was the best compression so that way um, it wouldn't get stuck, but yet we had enough friction so we can actually put it into the, the indexer. Um, and also the wheels, so deciding on what kind of wheels we wanted, that was a little bit of an issue. Uh, well, uh, we started out um, slapping some stuff onto the 20, God, I'm screwed up, 2012 robot, because um, that had sort of the same design. Um, we put a new hood thingy in it and uh, we're getting that up to speed just to find out like the speed and stuff that it needs to get at. Um, then we um, went and sort of were looking at uh, making a whole thing out of like just plywood and uh, I don't know that worked pretty well and then we made a then I went and designed the whole thing out of sheet metal stuff and getting, gotten the final thing put together. Um, the biggest struggle we had, we were trying to fit the motors into it because we wanted them on the back of the thing. Uh, and it's just trying to figure out where they'd fit in there with the thingy moving and getting all the angles to work well uh, with having the thing uh, moving and having the motors behind it at the same time was tough. So the design process was a fairly standard engineering process. Uh, come up, a bunch of people came up with all brainstormed ideas, and then we quickly made some prototypes out of cardboard and very quickly saw what was viable and what was not. And then we did a thing called a pew matrix, which basically takes the tasks that you have to do and the importance of those tasks and ranks the designs based on how well they can do the important tasks. So we came out with the elevator design, which was, it won by a landslide. Uh, one of the issues that came up with building the subsystem was, oh crap, I gotta think. I don't know. I'm not supposed to do this on camera. Um, for us, subsystems, this year we used a new framework called command-based programming. Before we were using our own separate thing, but we switched to new help other teams and be able to receive more help at competition since since it's more in like the supported way. Um, so we had 
we had um, each subsystem be kind of uh, a little stupid and not have much in them, and we had commands do logic of when things should run and what they should be doing and for how long. Um, most of our issues came up with when we coded our subsystem, we ended up having to change it because build and make a change. So we were constantly changing our subsystems to whatever build wanted to. Uh, and sometimes we just had to review them to make sure they work and try to make sure the code works without even having a robot.